وما أصابكم من مصيبة فبما كسبت أيديكم ويعفو عن كثير And whatever disaster strikes you, it is for what your hands have earned, but he pardons much. Welcome to episode 17 of Ramadan series on gratitude brought to you by Solace Islamic Mental Health Services. Imagine waking up one morning realizing you have missed Fajr prayer and it's visibly written across your forehead. You walk into the office and everyone sees that. You step into school and your friends uh, make your fun. People no longer see you as the righteous, pious individual you strive to be. The embarrassment is overwhelming. But here's the reality. You must fajr and nobody gets to know. This is where the beauty of Allah's mercy shines through in His name, as the concealer of our faults. Out of His immense mercy, Allah hides our sins from the eyes of others. Imagine for a moment if everyone could see a list of our sins as visible as the clothes we wear. Would anyone want to listen to us, be near us, or even look at us the same way? Isn't it something to be absolutely grateful to Allah for the fact that He hides our sins? The purpose here is not to glorify sinning, but to highlight the vastness of Allah's mercy. It's a call to reflect on how forgiving and covering our mistakes offers the chance to be immensely grateful to Allah. And think about our thoughts, those transient, sometimes wild, crazy thoughts, the demonic whispers that cross our minds about other people. Sometimes these thoughts bring embarrassment to our own selves. How can I think of this about such and such person? And imagine the humiliation that we would have gone through if the other person or the world knew what we were thinking about. Imagine the chaos if every thought was transparent to people around us. Our relationship would crumble and there would be just chaos all around. Allah conceals our thoughts from the world. Alhamdulillah that nobody knows what crosses our minds. And how about the control that Allah SWT has given us over our desires? Think about absolutely having no control over your nafs, eating whatever you wanted, marrying whoever you wanted, and doing whatever your heart desired. Can't even imagine the chaos it would have led to. Moving forward, think of our intentions, the bad intentions, the malicious intentions to hurt people, to harm them, to take revenge. And it's the sheer mercy of Allah that he doesn't give us the opportunity to materialize those intentions. And lastly, think about those deeply painful memories that over time become less painful. Just consider some traumatic experience you had 10 years ago. What if it were still hurting as bad today as it did 10 years ago? It's a sign of Allah's mercy that such memories do not cause endless pain. Your journal activity today is something that you're going to be doing in your head because, of course, our embarrassing thought or painful memories are not worth writing. So think of three things about yourself that if anyone else knew, it would be extremely embarrassing. And thank Allah, thank as for hiding them from the world. And as we close today's episode, please do not forget to make God to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep concealing our sins, thoughts, and malicious intentions both in this world and the next.